name is Rachel Nankumba and I work with New Cafe as the communications officer. Uh, we are New Cafe are uh, working on a number of programs to ensure that we have a youth engagement in the whole entire Coffee Valley chain. Uh, we've started working with the urban youth, uh, with the RFC Sky Foundation, where we try to engage youth from universities to come and engage in the Coffee Valley chain in part, uh, giving them skills in baristing, uh, starting up coffee nurseries, and also helping them to learn how to run factories and also start up businesses of their own. Uh, but to also engage the rural youth, we've been able to come up with uh, uh, group formations for them, where they have formed their own groups, set up their small business ventures, where they have set up nurseries, others have set up their own farms so that they can uh, get money and sustain themselves without having to depend on their relatives or families. Uh, then we've also encouraged the, farm, the farming families to always uh, come on with their children when they're having different trainings so that the, 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 the youth, uh, the children can also have those skills. If in case the parents are not around, uh, the, the children can always take on the business to another level. So we believe that if we continue working jointly as farmers and working together in households, we'll be able to ensure sustainability uh, in the families and also the coffee value chain for Uganda to ensure that we have improved incomes and economic growth as a country. Uh, another way where we think uh, farmer families can engage the youth uh, would be uh, into allocating them with small portions of land where they can begin to practice some of the things they're interested in. This could be in vegetable production like tomatoes, uh, doing with beans, uh, anything else that can actually attract them because through doing that they'll be encouraged not to participate. But also farmers, uh, farming families should always educate their children to know the importance of farming and not only look at farming as a punishment, but also show them that the importance and benefits that come out of farming. That is another venture that I think farming families should focus on. And also, if they go on to attend trainings as farmers, they should pick on... Okay. Um, we believe that the farming families, when they're once called for different trainings, they should pick some of the, of the children to come with them for the training so that they can also receive such skills and know that if my father is not around, I'm able to run the business this way so that the business is not end up dying out or even the youth themselves sending the land that is for the family. But once they have that, they're able to carry on the business. Okay, uh, what can really encourage the youth, whether rural or urban, to engage into agriculture will be more of technology because the youth, they are more interested in technologies, the ICTs, uh, they believe that these are the things that they have uh, more interest in. For example, uh, some of the programs that we've been able to carry out where we've been using smartphones to collect data, the youth have been engaged so much in this because they, they feel more passionate about this. And also the new technologies in agriculture, the spraying, uh, their youth who have come up with spraying teams and they go to different farms, they spray for them and they are paid money. So it is through technology that we can really attract the youth in agriculture. Uh, the, the farmers themselves, the rural farmers, some of the rural farmers are, are, are unable to use the, the technology, but the children who have been educated are able to use, but also the farmers once taught how to use the technologies, for example, the mobile apps, where you're able to receive information on markets, uh, information on good agricultural practices, they, they're able to use those SDS codes and send information in local language and get feedback on what they need. So farmers once taught, they're able to use such. We, we do encourage them to, to join agriculture because it is a way where the, it's a, a, it's a, sorry, it is something from which they can earn more money because as you know the value chain specific to coffee, the value chain as you go up to the higher nodes of, the, of, of coffee you're able to receive more. So we believe that the youth once taught more on uh, the different, uh, the, the, the value chain actually uh, the different stages that are engaged in the value chain, they're able to know that there is money in this thing. So because the youth are more interested in ensuring that they get something, they don't. Want, they want more of quick businesses. So we encourage them to do more of uh, uh, seedling production because there there is quick returns compared to when the process is actually longer.